Hello friends, it's Fuller Farm and here's a little update on our aquaponics setup. We have this little room that's off of our basement that we haven't really used at all. And it's a great place for, for IBC tote. If you remember in the previous video we got this all chopped up. We now have the top grow bed sitting on cinder blocks. So there's 20 cinder blocks all together. There's five in each pile and then there's five on each side in the back. And then there's these 2x12s that go across to support. I've seen a lot of videos where the grow bed starts to cave in a little bit and they have to support it so we're starting out right. Just started to fill up the grow bed with some lava rock, had to wash it pretty good first. We have our gravel guard all set up. It's got holes around the bottom so water can get out. There's the bell for the bell siphon. And there's the standpipe. We have a thermometer in here if you can't tell. It's at 65 degrees. That's with a fish tank heater going. Without the heater it was staying at 60 degrees, which will be great when we get the trout in here, but for now we just have the goldfish down here. We'll go ahead and give them some feed to see if we can get them to come up to the top to say hello. Water's been going for about a week and we have about 25 goldfish that have been swimming around in here. It's kind of loud so I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the pump and everything. To show you all the plumbing, hopefully that you can hear a little bit better. So we've got the pump down there on the side, got the black pipe that comes up here. There's a T that goes over, got a little ball valve right there so we can control how much water goes down here versus what keeps going up. The rest of it comes up here to fill up the grow bed. We have this beast of an air pump. Right now just one is going. Once we have trout, we'll be using both to get as much oxygen in here as possible since trout need a lot of oxygen. A little aquarium heater that's helping the water to get up to at least 65. Without it, it's been staying down to 60 degrees. There you can see some of the goldfish. This has been cycling for the last week so that we can get the bacteria going in the grow bed. Decided to use lava rock as the base. I still have two more bags of lava rock to wash off and then get in here. And we chose lava rock because of all the, the holes. It's lightweight, but also it's a good place for all the bacteria to grow and get established. So if you're not familiar with aquaponics, the way it works is the fish do their waste in the water, so there's then ammonia uh, that gets sucked up into the grow bed. The bacteria that starts growing on the rocks in the grow bed will break down that ammonia into nitrites and then also into nitrates. So that eventually when we have plants in here, the plants will use the nitrates to be able to grow. I'll go ahead and show you how this bell siphon works so the water will get to this level and with this bell siphon or this bell on the water will continue to go through the holes and it'll create a siphon once it gets up to here water will still go, start going down and it'll create that siphon and it'll drain the bed all the way down until it gets to the holes and then it'll stop draining back down into the bottom so I'll just get the system going again so we can show you how that bell siphon runs. So again, the grow bed fills up with water to a certain point. 
they fill up right to where this little dot here is which then that's exactly when it starts the, the siphon once it gets to that level it'll then drain takes about 20 minutes for the grow bed to raise up right now and then about 10 minutes for it to then drain back down below all right it's almost to that line so it's almost time for the bell siphon to activate take you down below to see what's going on There it goes. The bell siphon just activated so it'll pull all the water back down. This also gives extra aeration to the water as well. As you can see, the bell siphon has just about sucked all of the water out of the grow bed. In a second here, you'll hear the air start to gurgle, which will stop the siphon. Almost there. There it goes. Air is filling in, stopping the siphon. And you can see now the water is stopped coming down below. Once again, the grow bed will fill back up and the bell siphon will again take the water, drain it, and take it back down below. Like magic. If you already have a fish tank at home, you can actually use the water from that fish tank to kind of kickstart your aquaponics system, so that's what we did. We vacuumed out a lot of water from our fish tank and put that into our aquaponics setup because this water in the fish tank already has that good beneficial bacteria that's breaking down the ammonia. So that'll just speed up how quickly our system gets going. So we'll keep the goldfish in here for probably another 30 days. As long as everything is balanced out and everything's going good, then we will start getting ready to get the trout into our aquaponics setup. At that point, I'll take the heater out and let the water drop back down to 60 degrees because the trout love it nice and chilly and they love lots of oxygen. You'll see some people use a bulkhead fitting to do their plumbing. We decided to actually use the existing cap and plumb through there. As you can see underneath, that's where our drain comes out, is right from that cap. So next steps for our aquaponic system is to finish cleaning up the rest of the lava rock get that in here and then I have also purchased a river rock to go on top of that at which point our plants will be ready to put in here we'll also get our lighting I've decided to go with LED lighting so I'll show you that in our upcoming videos thanks for watching and have a great day